So that would be an example of what a cliff might look like. I actually misleft. I didn't get it to the friction as much as I like. It stayed in the oil a little too long and it got behind the head pin. What you'll find is my move off of this isn't going to be right. I'm not going to go close to the friction. I'm actually going to try to throw it at the friction, but also soften my speed just a touch, give it more time to read the lane. All right, so as you can see, I didn't move my angles, I didn't move my eyes. All I did was get a little slower and I rolled it a touch more. It had plenty of energy. It got behind the head pin just a touch, but just enough to get there and chop the 10 out. So I'm doing a little overboard, but just to show you how much friction there is there, right? That would be considered a burn, but also a cliff. You get it there and hold, wow, my ball hooked way too much. That's just like miles too much, right? But watch, when all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move like two left, but move my eyes three or four left and play a little closer to the headband. All right, so as you can see, we're working on ways to battle the cliff. That, I, I moved my eyes left, I didn't move my feet, and the ball stayed on the head pin, had plenty of oil, and I played the oil, right? So I've given you a couple options of how to play the cliff. You can play with the friction, you can move left, throw it at it more, or you can move right and play with the oil more. Both ways to combat the cliff. However, pick what's more suitable for you, whether you like to change your speeds or a ball roll. But uh, thanks for checking it out, guys. We'd love to bring you these videos, and leave it in the comments if you liked it, and we'll see you next time.